Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. Brave Browser, as you have heard me talk about on the channel, has Brave Shields, which I have said is, I feel, one of the best ad blockers and content blockers you have built into any browser and is very privacy focused. And as you may well know, Brave Shields and the browser block cookie consent notices by default. And Brave has a whole lot of default settings and settings that let you customize the shields to your own personal choice when it comes to your privacy focus and needs. Now, just to let you know that if you are using Brave Browser and are privacy focused, that Brave has announced that it has now officially open sourced Cookie Crumbler, which is a tool they say designed to automatically detect and help block cookie consent banners you see across the web. And as you may well know, cookie consent banners are quite annoying. And even if you click reject on a lot of the banners, they can still track you after clicking reject. And this is where Cookie Crumbler comes in, and this is where Brave says they are aiming to stop this. Now, as you may well know, and according to Brave, blocking cookie consent notices offers clear benefits on privacy and reducing annoyances, but it can also carry risks where it can break essential website functionality from checkout flows to layout problems, broken scrolling, blank pages, and so on. So there's a bit of give and take when you block different content on the web. Now, because of this breakage, Brave says that to reduce their maintenance burden, ad block list maintainers tend to rely on as few rules as possible for the widest coverage. However, cookie consent notice implementations can vary significantly from one site to another, making web-wide generic rules a frequent source of breakage. So this is... So this is quite a major problem that I'm trying to address now with this cookie crumbler. So that's why Brave now has been cleaning up community maintained block lists where they say they are stripping out the kinds of generic rules that tend to cause breakage. This is where cookie crumbler comes in now. So instead of relying on broad one size fits all rules, Brave is using large language models, LLMs to scan websites and automatically identify cookie notices, even when those banners show up in different languages or regions. So according to Brave, cookie consent notices can look very different depending on a visitor's geographic region or language settings. And they mentioned that Cookie Crumbler has support for various geographical vantage points so that it can see the website as a user in a particular region would see it. And what we're looking at here is a cookie notice in Thai, just as an example. And Cookie Crumbler, they say, runs completely on Brave's back end. So it's not something you're going to find in the browser by heading to a setting. Back end means it's running from their servers. So it's not a feature actually in the browser itself. And they mentioned that it uses publicly available lists of top websites for detection purposes. And Brave says that it's exploring how it can build Cookie Crumbler into the browser in the future to bring smart cookie notice detection closer to the user. So hopefully when that does happen, when it becomes a part of the browser, that um, there'll be the set applicable settings available, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction. Now, getting back to the open source side of this um, video, where Brave says it isn't just sharing the code of Cookie Crumbler, it's also publishing the results of its website crawls to GitHub, which means it invites the larger ad blocking community to jump in and help confirm detections improve rules and make cookie notice blocking smarter across the board. So that's the benefit of making the actual website crawls available on GitHub. Now Brave says that the process starts with it creating custom lists of popular websites for different regions. And from there, automated crawlers visit these sites using proxies that simulate being in various locations 
And Cookie Crumbler, they say, scans the page for likely cookie banners and then runs those elements through the large language model to confirm whether there are notices that need blocking. And if so, then the tool can suggest a fix. So that's basically how the whole process works. Now, as mentioned, it's currently on Brave's backend, running from their servers, not in the browser, which could change as mentioned in the future. And the benefit of open sourcing Cookie Crumbler and making its finding public, Brave says it's giving users and developers a way to fight back against, um, obviously, the annoying cookie banner problem and also, at the same time, not breaking websites and web pages in, this, in the same process. So I'm keep my eye on this, and if that ever becomes available in the actual web browser itself, I'll let you know. But I thought this was interesting, and I think this is a nice move because, as mentioned, Brave Shields is one of the best, and I think with this process now, I think privacy in the browser should even get better. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.